This week, LeBron James was named MVP, and he's played like it all week, leading two more dominating playoff blowouts. The Cavaliers are perfect in the postseason, and in their wake, they've left Atlanta bruised, beaten, and bumming. But tonight, the Hawks are home where they soar, and they're hopeful of making this a series. We welcome you to Atlanta, Georgia, and in prime time, it's the NBA on ABC. Cleveland has won the first two games by 27 and 20. Atlanta's very good at home. They need it all to try to stop LeBron and the Cavaliers. Now, they've been very good in this building, 31 and 10. Excellent home records. There's a problem. That guy LeBron James <laughs> over there, he was better on the road than he was at home this year. And for the playoffs, he's been better than the MVP regular season. Well, he's just off to a banner start. You can see the improvement with the points. How about the field goal percentage, rebounding, and then also the assists. Remember now, this is all about maturity and leadership. Also, first team, all NBA D. And he's been shown it all throughout the playoffs. As he sends the powder skyward, we will check in on those Taco Bell starting lineups. Out of thin air, here come the Cavaliers starting five. Same starters all playoffs. Delonte Weston, Mo Williams, good backcourt with James. The energy of Anderson Barajal and the veteran centers of Drew Hill Gossens. For the Hawks, Mike Bibby in the backcourt will be important with Mo Evans. There's Johnson with the ankle injury, Josh Smith, and Al Horford. James watched by Bibby. And Ilgoskis takes the first shot. A man who at 7'3 this year hit 15 three-point field goal. West posting up Bibby. Delante spins it in for two. And that's been a problem. Atlanta has not defended the front of the basket at all. It's moved by Joe Johnson. Off the mark for a guy who's been an all-star the last three years. And the Cavs go five minutes out of the gate with one field goal. And here's James to the basket. They clear some space for James with Evans. Joe Johnson brings the defensive help. Too late, no basket. A pre-shot foul on the floor on Evans. Now this guy is a nightmare if he is your defensive assignment. Four to shoot for James. Right past Evans to the basket, and again, nobody at the rim no. once he gets by the first man. That's right, Mike, and, and you're right now. Oh, Come on, where's the rotation? Oh, uh -oh. Williams, uh -oh. the lob for James. Wow. Now, that, that was a great catch. You thought that the pass was off mark, but he makes it look so easy with that catch and finish. James, nice. beautiful find, and give LeBron his fourth assist, and Ilgoskis the field goal. Mike, this is a, a lesson in basic fundamental basketball. Pick and roll, and then let's see you defend. Shot clock is off at the end of the first quarter. In game two, LeBron took Solomon Jones one-on-one -on -one and got a reverse dunk. This time, takes a three over Johnson. Still 2.4 for the Hawks, and it will be Williams. Good as it goes. LeBron James closes quarters single-handedly like nobody else. Except maybe Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Up top, LeBron. He's hit both of the three-pointers for the Cavaliers here tonight. When he got his chance with Detroit, he did a magnificent job. He had the vision of offensive basketball. He was way ahead of his time. And when he was selected as the head coach of the uh, USA, the original Dream yeah. Team, he was the perfect choice because he handled all of those guys. They all loved him. They listened to him. And then they marched right through to the goal. But he always loved it because he could teach fast break basketball, which he did early in his career when Detroit would average over 150 in a game. And then when he saw that they could not go it, they played slow basketball and became one of the greatest half-court defensive teams in the history of pro basketball. LeBron, it's another three. He's hit three of them, 17 of the Cavs, 36 of the two-point lead. LeBron gets double, so Ilgoskis knocks it down. Zadrunas Ilgoskis. Now has nine. Now, Mike, look, when they stole game one, the tempo was there. They want to play an 85-95 point game. Yao had 29, dictated, was on the floor for close to 40 minutes. Now, that is a shame. That team was playing great basketball in the second half of the season and in the playoffs. Unbelievable number on LeBron. Takes a two. Oh, he oh, it oh. In. Really? I, I was saying, that was like a cue ball. <laughs> Come on. Oh. He has been on the floor for 38 Cleveland points. He has scored or assisted 31 
of those 38. It's an awful lot like the one that he did as he came over half court and banked it in. Now, how about this? Now, here's the, here's the kicker to that. This now, is in pregame. Before the game, we said, hey, he, he's telling us there, yeah. I told you. Because we said, by the way, you didn't hit that shot the first two games of the series. <laughs> you usually hit that what's going on. And he said, I'll do it tonight. Now, you have to be careful on a double team. If you double team, you must get to the three-point shooter. Cleveland has all of their three-point shooters out there. West forcing him left. LeBron goes anyway. Gets fouled. You can see Mario West just got up under and he, I'm going to send you to the help to the left. And LeBron was undeterred. He'll get a couple of more free throws. Cavaliers won 19 more regular season games than Mike Bibby's team. And Bibby misses the outside shot. James brings it back. Cleveland 66 and 16. And James continuing to fill it up. So much for that warm up. Four of six shooting the three. Barry Zhao trying to save, and he does, coming into the table and sending it back the other way. Uh, James couldn't convert, but a foul is called. Chris Gent, who actually was the head coach in Orlando for a brief bit about four years ago in an interim role, but uh, an assistant coach. There's Chris, played at Ohio State, very good player at Ohio State, out of New Jersey. Chris had worked with LeBron so hard on his shot, and he's been so improved at the free throw line. Here's a takeaway and another three from oh, James. Oh, He's hit oh. five three-pointers and a timeout. Atlanta, good timeout. You can't let it get away from you right now. Man who's put exclamation points on quarters throughout the playoffs. James with a five-second difference. A fake and a take and a make by LeBron. Now that was a difficult angle. He didn't bank the shot in. He actually switched that shot. Barry Zhao fouled by Horford. Anderson hits the deck hard and grabbing at his right shoulder area. Joe Johnson see. defensively gets the problem. Yeah, I like what they're doing. Now, they're they're going to run some clock here right now. Figure out what he wants to do. You can see the double screen high, but they didn't trap him. They just switched. Oh, he'll shoot right over, baby. There you go. And there you go. Well, see, if you're not going to trap me, well, now, because you switched, I have the advantage. I'm 6'8", Vivi's 6'2". I'm just going to go right up over the top. Same deal. Oh, boy. James handled the ball until the switch occurred. Shoots over Vivi. That's 39, 9, and 7 assists for LeBron and a timeout for Atlanta. Mikey, it's just so great. He's such a cerebral player. Yeah. What he does is he reads the defense perfectly. He knows what you're doing. You're going to switch and have a small guy on me. I'll just shoot and play horse in my driveway. Smith off the mark. Got one near the basket. Couldn't convert. Yeah, well, that's a difficult shot to try to swish, Mike, when you're in the paint that close to the basket. You can see Smith is now one for six. And is the last stop. shot at that. Just stop it. This is amazing tonight. Unbelievable. Fourth career, 40-plus points playoff game for James. You're not out of the picture here, but you have to stop this guy. 43, James closing in on a Cavalier franchise best scoring performance in the playoffs. He has it, 48. A clear space for James. Well, they're zoning it up right now. Attacking the basket, LeBron will come to the line for points 44 and 45. Game four here on Monday. The Cavs will go for back-to-back -back sweeps here to open the playoffs. Johnson fouling LeBron, who will get the free throws. Hubie, the Cavaliers are on their way to going 7-0 to start the playoffs and winning all seven by double digits. Indiana in 2004 they end up losing the Eastern Conference Finals, but they had accomplished that out of the gate in six playoff games. And some of the Cavalier fans who made the trip start the MVP chant that is not received well here. And the Cavs empty the bench here now. Well, Mike, the people who paid to come here this evening saw why he is MVP. He read the tempo of the game in that first quarter and said, I have got to step up 
and I have to be a better scorer in this first half, then I will create. And I just like his attitude. Plus, in the second half, even though they fell behind, he read the defenses perfectly and made the correct decisions when they switched and he had the height advantage. And then if you trapped him, he got the basketball to a man who had a better opportunity to score. Credit to Joe Johnson, who played through that ankle injury, scored 21. Al Horford playing with his ankle injury, six points. But... Not enough to slow down the Cavs here tonight. 47 for LeBron, who commits the foul so he can check out. A couple of assists shy of a triple-double, and his second best playoff performance in terms of points. With all those amazing numbers, the Cavs have actually won all seven playoff games by double digits. LeBron, how have you kept such a high level throughout these playoffs? Well, first of all, tonight was the first time we was tested. Uh, first time we had a little adversity, we was down, they made a run. Our, my team showed a lot of guts tonight. You know, we were staying, they run. We got defensive stops that we executed on the offensive end. So, um, a big role win for us. Ultimately, how do you think that adversity could help this team later down the playoff road? Uh, it's big. I mean, you, you want to have adversity throughout the playoffs so you know how you can adjust to it. You know what to do every time it come upon you. So, um, you know, guys showed guts tonight. We never got rattled. And we just continued to play hard and continue to get stops, and then we made shots on the other end. Throughout the game, the Hawks made a couple of key runs. What was the key component to really shifting momentum back in your favor? Well, you just got to buckle down and get stops. I mean, they got run off us turning the ball over and they got in transition either hit pull up threes in transition got a few dunks and um that's not the way we play defense we got to get back and make a team execute in the half court and once we did that we turned the game around so far undefeated in the playoffs you have on chance on monday to make a clean sweep how important is that to this team well it's not even important about making sweeps or you know winning games by double digits it's important that we continue to get better, you know, and, and that's what we did tonight. We got better once again, and if we can get better and play hard on Monday, we give ourselves a good chance to win. LeBron, congratulations uh, on the thanks, win. Heather.